All right, and up next, let's see how we can add navbar and footer to our project. Now, in this video, I'll quickly show you the most basic approach, which clearly has its limitations, since it adds the same components or elements to all of the pages. But don't worry, in the following videos, we're also going to cover more fine grained approach, where we will nest our pages and set up the shared layout. And as far as the basic setup, we simply want to set up the elements above or below the routes. Again, please don't make the mistake and place the element inside of it, you will get an error. But if you place it above or below the routes, this will be added to all of the routes. Like I said, most basic approach, but there's definitely situations where this is a nice solution. So let's navigate back. And let me go above the routes. Let me set up the nav component, basically an element. And yes, of course, you can set up the component imported here. And also, of course, you can add the links. Now, I'm not going to add the links in this scenario, since we're going to do that in the upcoming examples. And I don't want to repeat myself and waste your time. Basically, I'll go here with our nav bar. And the same thing we can do with footer. I'll say our footer. And once you save, you'll notice that in all of the pages, we we'll have the nav bar as well as the footer. If we navigate to about, same is going to work with product. And it's not going to be surprised if we navigate to another page, and we get the same result. Nav bar and footer gets added to all of the pages. So this is the most basic approach, how we can set up some shared layout, where essentially, in this case, we're adding both of these elements to all of our pages.